Hello everyone, welcome to Tuesday's meditation with your host, me, Jill Pulowski, here at Vitalia Strongsville. We've been talking about emotions for the past few weeks. If you've joined us, if you've watched, we have touched on some pretty hard things to maybe look back at, to allow ourselves to feel again. And today is going to be one of those as well that we might feel a little uncomfortable, but that is a good thing. We have to work through that discomfort in order to find freedom from whatever we are holding on to in our hearts, in our minds, uh, in our bodies physically. So today we're going to talk about the feeling of sadness and grief. We all experience this feeling in our lives. When we're children, we are sad. We can't get what we want. We cry. We throw tantrums. We feel the sadness and heartbreak when we get older and we have our first love that you know might break our heart. Um, we might have the loss of a loved one. We all experience this feeling in our lives. I know for me, at my age, sometimes the littlest things can can set me off and make me sad or make me cry. Um, and it might not be that I'm super sad uh, and I have am dealing with depression, but you know I might see a commercial on TV that is just you know touches your heart and it makes you sad and it makes you cry. Uh, or you might hear a song on the radio with lyrics that are just you know get to pull at your heartstrings. So it's those little tiny things that can cause sadness for a brief moment. And there are other things in life that, you know, we just are just sad all the time. Um, again, the loss of a loved one. We might not feel that sadness all day, every day, but when we think about that person or we think about times that we were together or memories come up in our minds, we might feel that overwhelming sense of sadness and grief. Maybe it's the loss of a, of a pet. That can be really, really hurtful and painful um, to think about and to feel. Even as years go on, you know, we, we think about it, we see a picture and those emotions come back up. And feeling those emotions is absolutely okay and encouraged. We don't ever want to hold those feelings back or hold those feelings in. So in those moments when we feel extra sad or grieving anything, we could grieve the loss of a job, we can grieve the loss of um, our health. You know, there's, there's so many things to, to feel that grief and sadness about. But um, to get those feelings out, to cry, to um, express, to talk about it, um, and to really be able to feel that feeling and then work through it. Remember, we don't want to get over anything. We just want to work through things. <laughs> all right. So we're all feeling this feeling at some point in our lives. We all know what it feels like. There's no escaping it. Uh, but we can work through it. We can find ways to um, see the good through the bad, the ugly. We can um, control our emotions afterwards. So again, getting it out and then whew, letting it go. It always feels better to just cry it out. So that's what we're going to talk about today or feel today or tap into today in our meditation. Hopefully you can see sadness and grief in a different light after today's meditation class. Before we begin, we'll warm up the body, we'll let loose a little bit, and of course we will breathe because it's the most important part of our meditation of anything that we do is the breath. So let us find a nice tall seat. Sit up nice and tall in your chair. Stack your head over your heart and your heart over your hips. So we're in a nice straight line. If you took a pole and put it down, 
through the center of your head. It would go right down through your spine and everything would be, have this nice pulled up posture. Let your shoulders relax away from your ears. And let's start by taking some nice deep breaths. So sitting up tall allows your lungs to expand into that rib cage a little more. As we breathe in, fill all the way up. And as you breathe out, empty. Good, inhale. And exhale. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good, two more times. Inhale. Lungs fill up. And exhale, press it out. Last big breath, breathe it in. And breathe it out. Good, keep breathing. Let's shake those shoulders out a little bit. And notice any tension and tightness you feel here. Good, just shake it out. So in yoga, we talk about how there are certain emotions that are stored in our bodies. Um, our hips hold a lot of emotion. All that anger um, builds up here in our hips. Uh, we hold this emotion in. We might have tight hips. We might have that back pain. Um, and to get it out, to move it, um, can really bring that emotion to light. Uh, I remember years ago i took a class and we were doing these hip openers and the teacher um, made us stay in this one hip opening position for 45 minutes in one one pose holding it for 45 minutes and there was about 80 people in the class and men women all shape size colors you name it um, ages you know kids to older people uh, and at the end of the class we were all crying not because we were in physical pain, but because all of that emotion was coming out from just opening up the body. So it's pretty amazing um, to know how much of these emotions our body stores. Um, our back, our cent the center of our back also holds a lot of, of emotion, um, especially that grief and sadness. So we're gonna work on the back today. Um, I'm gonna, Get up a little higher in my chair so you can see me maybe a little bit better so uh, sitting in your chair you're going to bring your hands on your knees okay and then we're going to move the spine kind of in this fashion which we call in yoga cat cow so we're going to throw those the chest forward pull the shoulders back lift the chin so you should feel like a curve in your spine this way and then we're gonna round it out, bring the shoulders forward, round the spine and tuck the chin. Good, and then again, come back with the shoulders, lift the chin, push the chest forward. And then round the spine, bring those shoulders forward, tuck your chin in. And then continue to do that a few more times on your own. You can do it slow or fast. Just opening up here. Also feels good if you have a bad mattress and your, your back is tight from maybe not sleeping so comfortably. Good. There's just a couple of these. Loosen up the back, loosen up the front. One more. All right, good job. Let's now twist the spine. So again, that center of the back, holding all those emotions. So bring your hands to one side of your chair. We've done this before. And then twist as much as you can over one shoulder and hold. And take a few deep breaths. Good. 
And then switch sides, reach over to the other side of your lap or your chair of your, or the arm of your chair, and hold on and twist. Deep breaths. All right, good job. Come on back to the center. And we're just going to give ourselves a little twist here. Just kind of back and forth. It's a movement of the spine. Loosen up the back. Mine's just cracking, creaking, creaking and cracking back here. <laughs> You could be your own personal chiropractor just by finding some of that movement. All right, good job. Come on back to center. Hopefully we're nice and loose. I'll come back to my normal seat with my feet on the floor because that's important as we start to meditate. So bring your feet flat on the floor and then lose that perfect posture. Go ahead and sink back into your chair. Let your arms rest comfortably. Maybe again, if there's room for your head to rest, we might let the head come back a bit as we sink down into our chairs. Take a deep breath in and a slow breath out. And then find as you close your eyes, your natural unforced breaths. Just feel the breath as it naturally flows from your navel to your throat and then your throat to your navel. And start to feel how the breath moves, soft and steady. And then each breath begin to relax the muscles in the body And let each breath begin to relax the thoughts that are swirling around in your mind. And as we clear the mind and we have this nice blank canvas here, I want you all to think of something that brings you sadness. Maybe it's just a thought. Maybe it's something that happened to you in your life. Maybe it's the missing of a loved one. Allow yourself to feel that emotion of sadness, an emotion of grief. Notice how it feels to you. Does it feel painful in the physical body? Do you notice any changes in the physical body as you think about this sadness and grief? Do you notice any movements, any maybe shaking or shuddering? Maybe you can even feel the emotion coming through with tears or holding back tears. Just let yourself feel that emotion for a moment and remember that everyone on this planet and everyone who's come before you and everyone who will come after will all feel this feeling in their lives many many times it's not something to hold back it's not something to be ashamed of
Just allow yourself to feel. Picture in your mind's eye what it is that makes you feel this feeling of sadness and grief. A person, a place, a memory. Maybe it's just that sadness of the unknown as we look into the future, not knowing where we will be, where our loved ones will be. Maybe it's looking at the world, questioning why things are the way they are or happen the way they do. And for a few more moments, just feel that ultimate sadness and grief. Let it sit in your bones, in your heart, in your mind. And then begin to change that view of sadness and grief and think of maybe the same person or situation or future to come or whatever it is that your sadness is coming from and look at ultimate joy maybe it's someone that you miss think of something a time when it was so joyful so much love, so much happiness. If you're looking at the sadness of the future or the world as it is now, maybe think of how you would like for it to look. Peace and love and kindness and see that happening in your mind's eye. It's someone in your current life that has brought sadness to you. Maybe we send that person love and joy and happiness. Maybe they are hurting and that's why they have brought that sadness to us, that pain, grief. So start to turn your feelings of sadness and grief into feelings of joy, however that may come to you. And see people smiling and dancing. See children playing, see animals playing. See the sun shining. Maybe you see yourself. You see yourself dancing and, and enjoying the life we had or the life we wish to have. So allow yourself to feel ultimate joy. And feel it in your bones, feel it in your heart, and feel it in your mind. Allow that joy to embrace you, to envelop you. And allow yourself to feel that joy even if it's hard, no matter how deep you have to dig, find that joy and feel it deeply.
know that in our lives that whatever emotions come up for us, they don't last forever. So if we are feeling that sadness, that grief, it might last for days or weeks. It might only be here for a few hours or a few minutes. We feel sad. And then it goes away and we continue to live our lives each day, going on, waking up in the morning, having our coffee, showering, dressing. We have that normal routine in our lives that allows us to forget about the sadness and grief for a moment. And then it might come up again and go away again. And the same goes with those feelings of joy and happiness. They're not normally with us 24-7. We might feel overwhelming joy when we're around our loved ones, our family, when we're at a party, when we're listening to music, when we're um, at a carnival, things like that where we just feel absolute joy all around us. But that moment has to end. We have to go back on to living our daily lives, going to work, going to doctor's appointments, doing the things that we have to do in our lives. But then the joy comes back and there's other moments where we get to spend with the ones we love again and do the things we enjoy again. Watch the sunset again. We feel that joy and happiness again in our hearts and in our minds. Just like this ebb and flow. Happiness, sadness, joy and grief. They come and go. They don't have to stay with us for long unless we really want them to. Of course, we want joy to stick around a little longer than the sadness and grief. And sometimes that's hard too, to keep that positive attitude of, of feeling goodness and joy, of, of feeling and being grateful for the moment we are in. And sitting in the moment without allowing it to pass us by too quickly. Especially here in the United States, it's rush, 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 rush to do this, put this down, something else to do. And we don't stop to just enjoy the moment. And there's these other countries that live such an easy life where there's nothing to rush. We don't have to, you know, meet, get our food quickly. It comes when it's ready, and then we enjoy each bite slowly. And sometimes we're in such a rush that we miss the moment of joy. And then we feel sad that we did. And we have to make up that sadness by finding joy again. Sit with that feeling of joy for one more moment, one more breath. And then start to wiggle your fingers, bringing movement into the hands. Wiggle the toes inside of your shoes as you wake up the feet. Let your head gently rock from side to side as the neck wakes up. And slowly start to open your eyes and come back to that nice posture in your chair, sitting up tall, head over heart and heart over hips. Let's all take a nice deep breath in and a slow breath out.
Sometimes it's hard to sit with our emotions, good or bad. Sitting in sadness and grief might be hard to hold on to because we don't want to be in that space. Sitting with happiness and joy might be uncomfortable because we might feel like we're being selfish by taking all of that goodness in. Whatever feelings come to you every day, this week, or this month, this year, allow yourself to just be there with it and feel exactly what it feels like without trying to push it away or hide it or tuck it under the rug or mask it with a smile. If you're feeling sad, get it out. If you're feeling happy, show it. This week, your homework is to slow down. Take the moments to enjoy the moments, whether it's eating a piece of toast or sipping on your favorite beverage or talking with a friend. Really sit and listen and then really express yourself back and enjoy the conversation. Enjoy the food that you eat. Enjoy maybe just opening the windows and smelling the fresh air without rushing, without rushing to eat, without rushing to talk, without rushing to do something else. Let yourself be in each moment that you are in this week. I hope you all were able to tap into your emotions today not really wanting to feel the sadness and grief, but then finding the joy that is always there to trumpet. Thank you for joining me today. Have a wonderful week and don't forget to do your homework. Slow down, be in the moment, and enjoy each moment that you have. See you next week. <laughs>